Hi, I'm Christy Pelletier. I've been researching what the cap and trade legislation will cost the average American family. It's not good. In fact, it's downright terrifying. Polls show that most people now believe that man is not causing global warming. For good reason. The earth is now cooling, and new science shows man cannot be causing it. The only evidence that man is causing warming is computer models. Yet the computer models are wrong. When tested against past warming, the computer models predicted rapid warming at high elevations in the tropics and northern latitudes. Actual measurements from the same time period clearly show the models simply do not predict reality. In spite of the overwhelming evidence that man is not causing global warming, Congress passed a very dangerous cap-and-trade bill last June. The Senate is getting ready to consider that very same bill, and we need to stop it. Congressional and White House leadership assure us that it will only cost the average family a couple of hundred dollars a year, but that is simply not true. Analysis by independent groups clearly show that it is extremely expensive. It represents the largest tax increase in American history. I have a pile of numbers, but I know your eyes will just glaze over if I share all of them with you. Let me give you just a few examples. When the real impacts of this bill start to hit, gasoline costs would rise to the mid $4 range, this time permanently. Energy costs alone for an average family will go up by over $1,200 a year. Overall living costs, including taxes, will go up by nearly $5,000 a year for an average family. Although energy rebates are promised for the poor, the poor will be hurt the most because the cost of everything will skyrocket. In fact, analyses have shown that for every $8 of increased cost, only $1 is returned in rebates. This is our money going down the drain. What would all of this pain buy us? At most, this legislation might, and I repeat might, decrease the Earth's temperature by one half of one tenth of a degree Fahrenheit. That's not even measurable. As bad as all of this is, it's not the worst part. The government will get to decide who is favored and who is punished. That not only opens the door for corruption, it sets the government up to be in control of our economy, something that it's proven to be an absolute failure at doing. There is also an international agreement to create global governance. The United Nations has been attempting to create global governance for decades. World leaders have stated publicly that any climate agreement is designed to implement global governance. And one of the ways it will drive the change is through global governance and global agreements. If that happens, totally unaccountable global bureaucrats will be in control of our economy. Ask yourself this, if there is no man-caused global warming, why are so many politicians pushing to pass this dangerous legislation? It's insane. If this cap-and-trade legislation passes the Senate, it will radically change the nation. The America and freedoms that we grew up with will cease to exist forever. This cap-and-trade legislation must not pass. If you've never contacted your senators before, do it now. You can contact them at www.congress.org. Tell them that if they pass this cap-and-trade legislation, you will not be voting for them. We've already seen the reckless spending by Congress in the trillions of dollars. Let's stop this horrible legislation together by passing the link for this video on to others that we know. Thank you for your time.